So I was deleting some screenshots on my desktop and I realized that I never made a post in regards to some of the things that I noticed in the Nebraska versus Minnesota game on November 12th. And I made a post before the game and I talked about how I was pretty sure Nebraska was going to win the game. And there was also be probably some type of tribute to Sam Fultz in the game, some type of number tribute to Sam Fultz. The reason this game was so interesting is because the game was 112 days after the death of Sam Fultz. And if you don't know who Sam Fultz is, he was Nebraska's punter who died in a car crash in Wisconsin. He was also with Mike Sadler, the former Michigan State punter, and the LSU uh, field goal kicker, Colby Delahousse, and Colby Delahousse survived. I have a whole bunch of videos in regards to this. I'm going to leave that in the description so you'll understand a lot more of what I'm talking about. I'll also leave my how-to gematria video, which explains the numbers that I'm talking about if you're new to what I am saying. So, Sam Fultz dies 112 days before this game. It's even on 11 slash 2, which, you know, somewhat reminds you of 112. But in Gematria, Sam Fultz equals 112. He died one month, 12 days before Nebraska's first game. He was even born on January 21st, which in other parts of the world they write the date 21 slash 1, a lot like the mirror or the reflection of 112. And he even died 211 days after his last football game with the Cornhuskers, it was in the Foster Farms Bowl last year in 2015. Another interesting thing was the team's records here. They were both 7-2 and 4-2 and and in the conference. And if you write out Golden Gophers, it equals 73. So it seemed pretty fitting for Minnesota to, be, to lose and be 7-3. Also, whatever team lost would have been 4-3 and three in the conference, so Minnesota became 4-3 and three in the conference, and four, 43 is another number that was all around Sam Fultz. He died 43 days before Nebraska's first game of the season against Fresno State. That equals 43 in Gematria. Nebraska even scored 43 points in that game. The other guy that Sam Fultz died with was Mike Sadler. His name in Gematria equals 43. Nebraska currently has 43 conference championships, according to sportsreference.com. And last week, Tommy Armstrong Jr. completely faked his injury in the Ohio State game. What kind of guy gets laid out like that, pretends he's dead, and then he comes running back on the field, even without numbers? It just doesn't even seem real. I can't believe people fell for that. But that was his 43rd game playing with Nebraska. And, you know, Armstrong Jr. even comes back in the game when he comes running back in when Nebraska's down by 35 points. In Gematria, if you write out Nebraska, Nebraska equals 35. The punter who replaced Sam Fultz wears number 35. He even got hurt when the score was 3-24. to a total score of 27, like Sam Fultz's number. Just watch the link that I'll leave in the description. It's a lot of information, but his birthday is even the same day as Sam Bradford. I talked about how he's Nebraska is all connected to the Teddy Bridgewater injury. Last year on November 8th, which is Tommy Armstrong Jr.'s birthday and Sam Bradford's birthday, Teddy Bridgewater got knocked out in the game against the Rams. Bridgewater's from Miami, the guy who knocked him out from Miami. All of this stuff is coded to the 1971 championship, where Nebraska won their first championship in the year 71. Nebraska, the big way, equals 71. And they played in the Orange Bowl, and that's also where the Super Bowl was played that year with the Colts and the Cowboys which is probably why the Cowboys are having such a good season this year. But moving on. Or actually, you know what? One more 43 I want to point out. Nebraska's final regular season game this year, the day after Thanksgiving, they play Iowa four months, three days after the death of Sam Foltz.
So anyway, I looked at the history of these games. It says it was the 57th time they've played each other. It was also Mike Riley. He was going for his 107th overall win as a coach. And if you write out Mike Riley, his name equals 107. So pretty fitting that he would get his 107th win. His name equals 107. The Wisconsin coach, Tracy, however you say his name, Clays. His birthday just so happened to be 43 days after this game on November 12th. Once again, another 43. Minnesota's quarterback and also Tommy Armstrong played their 44th career college games. Nebraska, with the S exception, equals 44. It was also Week 11 that equals 44. And the big way, Week 11 equals 107. Once again, Mike Riley got his 107th win. In week 11, Mike Riley equals 107. Week 11 equals 107. Minnesota's quarterback was also born on January 17th. And this number has just been super special, what I was talking about in regards to the year of 1971. The Colts beat the Cowboys in the Super Bowl that year on January 17th of the year 71. On January 1st, 1971, that was when Nebraska won their first championship, like I said. But they beat LSU. And I talked about how Sam Fultz equals 112. This game was 112 days after the death of Sam Fultz. LSU this year just so happened to be in its 112th season. Their coach, Les Miles, who got fired, but he was going into the season with 112 career wins with LSU. He got his 112th win last year in their bowl game in the Texas Bowl that was played in Houston. Houston equals 112. This year, Super Bowl 51's in Houston. In 1971, when they won the championship, they won it in the Orange Bowl, and that is also where the Super Bowl was played. Orange Bowl equals 112. But in regards to the 117, Nebraska is in its 117th season being called the Cornhuskers. The word quarterback equals 117. There was all kinds of 117 stuff. Dwayne Wade attended his first ever Nebraska Cornhusker game two, two seasons ago. It was on September 5th, the day that leaves 117 days in the year. Dwayne Wade, also born on January 17th. Last year, on November 7th, a lot like 117, Nebraska upset Michigan State. Just think about that in regards to then the two punters die in a car wreck together, and the only one who lives is the LSU player. And they all died in Wisconsin as well. In Wisconsin, they, they beat LSU on the first game of the season. Their quarterback, Bart Houston. Houston upset Oklahoma. And then that same day, we got the news that Sam Bradford was going to the Minnesota Vikings. Sam Bradford, of course, played in Oklahoma. We also got the 5.6 earthquake that day. Sam Bradford equals 56. There's just a huge parallel to a bunch of stuff that's going on. I forgot to mention, too, Wisconsin, also they beat LSU, but they also beat Michigan State, and they also beat Nebraska. So how interesting is that, that they beat all three of them teams, and they were in that wreck in Wisconsin. And a whole bunch more to that, but... We also had a guy wearing a Freemason hat at the Indiana versus Nebraska game, and he was wearing a Colts jersey, and when they showed this guy, they moved over and they showed a bunch of people wearing Colts jerseys, and the announcers were like, a lot of people from Baltimore here today, ha ha ha, because they were referring to the Baltimore Colts, even though the Colts aren't Baltimore anymore. They're just, you know, that's how they do stuff. They were telling us about the Baltimore Colts, Reminding us that Nebraska's season is somehow connected to the year of 1971. Anyway, the date this game was played against Minnesota, it was November 12th. If you wrote that out, it equaled 71, just like Nebraska. I thought it was interesting, too, just the, the logos, the M and the N. M is the 13th letter, N the 14th. You add that up, it's 27, a lot like Sam Fultz's number. And basically, I ended this post saying, because originally I thought possibly Nebraska 
might get Mike Riley's 112th career win. They could have lost. Well, it could still happen, I guess. They would have to win the national championship, which is very unlikely. But all of this, I think, is, you know, there's going to be some type of tribute to the death of Sam Fultz at the end of the season. And I was thinking, since it was all about 112, it seemed, and Mike Riley had the possibility to get the 112th win, they were coding it to the 1971 Nebraska Championship. Possibly Mike Riley would get his 112th win. But it's not looking so good anymore. But what, one thing I didn't think about was the possibility that maybe Nebraska will go 11-2, which is possible. They just have to win their next two games and then w win their bowl game or whatever. Who knows? Regardless if that's right, I guarantee you there is – Something in regards to Nebraska's, the way they're going to finish the season that's connected to the death of Sam Fultz. So let's look at the game really quick. So in this game, they did do a Sam Fultz tribute, but they kind of did it in a roundabout way. There's a whole bunch of the number one, or the number 17 in this game. And the word punt in Gematria equals 17. Also, the word Samuel equals 17. And think about that in regards to Sam Fultz. What happened in this game was Armstrong faked another injury, and the score was 17 to 17, and they had to bring in Riker Fife, number 17. Then later on, Armstrong Jr. comes back in, and Nebraska goes on a big drive all the way down the field. Armstrong Jr. runs the ball in. And then all of a sudden, oh, he tore his hammy or whatever, you know. And the score was 17-17 to 17 before he scored. But look when he scored. Seven minutes, 17 seconds. You know, 71, 17. The word punt also equals 71, the big way. And if you think this is a coincidence, watch. I dare you to watch some of my other videos. This type of stuff happens all the time. I don't know how they do it. If it's magic if it's ancient technology somehow this is being done i even talked about one of the first things i ever noticed a few years ago was when mike moustakis hit his fourth postseason home run in the fourth inning making the score four to four at exactly 4 p.m so who knows another 17 in the game was at the end of the game Minnesota drove the ball down to the Nebraska 17-yard line before they threw an interception. And then they put Nebraska put back in number 17 to take the final snaps of the game. Also in regards to the week before when they lost to Ohio State, Ohio State equals 112 in Gematria. And they lost by 59 points. The 17th prime number just so happens to be 59 so anyway, real quick, just want to show a couple things that I noticed about the Maryland game tomorrow. And, you know, I'm, I, th I thought Nebraska was going to win regardless, so I just kind of didn't even really look at it. But I noticed a few things. Maryland is the one of the only two states that equals 88 in Gematria. The other is California. But Trump equals 88. If you just write out Terrapins, it equals 48. Donald Trump in Gematria equals 48. And if you go from the, the game tomorrow to the coach of Maryland to his birthday, a span of one month, 27 days, Nebraska's in its 127th season altogether, only 117 being the Cornhuskers. But if you go from the death of Sam Fultz to this game, it just so happens to be a span of 119 days, a number that was synced up to Donald Trump and whatnot. That's when he won the election, November 9th. And if Maryland loses, they're going to become 5-6 and six overall this year. The word president equals 56. So, also overall, their coach's coaching record would be 6-6 six and six if they lose. Michael Riley equals 66. You know, and I could have looked way more. But I just have a feeling Nebraska is going to go 11-2 and two to finish out the season. But we'll see how it all plays out. Leaving it at that, have a good one.